from setting up the camera. I don't, I don't think that's good. Hello and welcome back to another Pink's video. Today, I am going to be trying, no. Today, I'm going to be trying some online crochet patterns just for the fun of it. And I didn't make any of these patterns, so I'll just go ahead and link like the links to the blog posts and stuff down below. So yeah, I think that's all I have to cover. Great, okay, lovely. But um, yeah, so that'll be fun. Okay, so I found this one, which I think is very adorable. It's a platypus. So I think I'm gonna start with that one, because that looks pretty fun. And I think I know all these stitches, so that's good. Okay, let me pick out some yarn. I brought two containers of yarn because, like, why not? So, we have the yarns, and I'm just gonna assume that it's gonna be enough yarn. We're gonna do a four millimeter, cause we're just, we're just living on the edge here. Okay, I'm excited. I think this will be a cute one. Okay, so, got a nice little stitch marker. I think I'm ready to get started. So I've gone for like half an hour. We have this beauty. So there's that. I think I just finished row seven um, and now I'm supposed to add in the safety eyes, which I don't have. So I'm just gonna add them in later, I guess. You know, that's, that's a problem for later. I'm just gonna keep going. And yeah, I think, I think it's going pretty well. Okay, so. It's a few days later. It's been a couple days and I've worked on this a little bit. Um, so I just finished row 20. So I have one more row to do of the uh, single crochet around. But here's our platypus. I think it's looking pretty good. I still haven't thought about eyeballs yet, which probably is not great. Um, but I figured that I'll just put them on at the end and figure out something. Um, sure. So we'll see how that goes. Yeah. Earlier I was kind of stressing out though because for one of the rounds I had taken out my stitch marker. Um, and then I forgot to put it back in so I didn't know where the round started or ended. So I just took an educated guess. It, it, it worked fine. So it's all good. Okay, I'm very confused. I think I messed up on something. So I've been working on the first decrease row, which I think is row 22. It says you're supposed to do three single crochets and then one decrease and then repeat that six times. But I have an extra stitch, so... I did something very wrong. Okay, I'm very confused because it says that the stitch count... Oh, I'm looking at the wrong row. Wait, no. Oh my goodness. I just realized something. I don't know how I missed this, but I completely skipped over row 22 and went to sh straight to row 23. Okay. Well, we'll just keep going with that, I guess. So I just finished row 25, and I think it's looking pretty good. Looks like a platypus, I guess. I have one more row to do to like decrease and finish it off. Uh, but first I'm probably gonna stuff it just cause I think that'll be easier. Okay, so after I finished sewing up the main body, I went ahead and started crocheting the tail. Um, I pretty much just followed the pattern. I did add a couple of extra single crochets at the end, just because I wanted it a bit longer. And then afterwards, I tried sewing it onto the body and I struggled a lot with that. 
Um, but eventually I figured it out. Okay, so I've worked on my platypus a bit more off camera, um, and I've gotten pretty far. So I figured out how to attach the tail, and I think it looks pretty good. Um, and then I went ahead and did the little feet. For the feet, I originally did it by the pattern, but I just decided that I wanted them a little bit smaller. So instead of doing six single crochets for the start of each foot, I did four. And I think that turned out pretty well. Um, all that's left is to do the beak bill thing, which I have started on, but I need to do a little bit more work on. And then I still need to figure out how I'm going to add eyes because I never did that. So we got plenty to do. Okay, so I finished crocheting the little bill and I think, I think that should fit okay. Okay, so I've started sewing the bill on, but it's very uncentered, so I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, unpick that. Okay, so I've attached the bill, and I think it looks okay. I feel like it might be a little bit lower down on the face than it should be, but it'll probably be fine. So for my final step, I just have to figure out what I'm gonna do for the eyeballs, which I still don't know. Okay, so I've kind of thought about my different options for the eyes, and I think I'm just going to use these little black beads I have and just sew those on. But I just have some black crochet thread here that I will use to sew them into place. So now I am all done with the platypus and I think it turned out really, really cute. Um, so after I finished sewing on the little eyeball bead things, um, I used some of the excess thread to add those little eyebrows, which I think are really cute. All in all, I was really happy with the pattern. I think I only modified a few things for like personal preferences, but I feel like it did work out pretty well. Um, so yeah, I'm really happy about that. So when I initially filmed this video, I was planning for... When I initially filmed this video, I was planning to do two separate projects, but I thought the video was getting a little long, including both of them, so I'm just going to do a part two, which I will post sometime after this, um, and I'm going to be making another crochet project. If you did enjoy this video, look out for the part two, and when I do post the second part, I will link it down in the description if you're interested. Um, so yeah, if you enjoyed this video, please leave a thumbs up. I don't recommend the thumbs down, but it's there. And if you wanna see more videos like this, go ahead and subscribe down below. That way you'll never miss one of my uploads. So yeah, thank you for watching, and I will see you guys later. Bye.